I'm not doing a mic check because Mike never checks on us. We'll do a sound check. Sound check. Yeah, sound check. Mike, if you're watching, we love you. Yeah, uh, okay. Hey y'all, welcome to um, whatever we're doing tonight, I have no idea. Bert said he had a different idea tonight, so we're gonna let Bert do this. Hot dogs, and cheese, and what is this? Kinder's, buttery steakhouse. Kinder's, uh, I've never had, have I had Kinder's yet? You haven't. Let me try some Kinder's. It's amazing. That's pretty good. That's a little salty. A little salty. Woo. Gotta be careful with it. Woo. So what do we... I don't know. You're the one sitting over there. I, I just something. sat down, dude. You said we were doing something different. Sing one, monkey. And we got uh, <laughs> Bar S hot dogs. Yeah, you know why? Because Oscar Mayer's $17. I know, dude. <laughs> the Oscar Mayer's I normally get a year ago were like three bucks for a pack of eight. Now they're like almost $9 <laughs> for a pack I of eight. I was going to get a pack of Oscar Mayer bun link all beef wieners. Yeah. But the interest rates are up a little bit this week, so... I'm you know. telling you, dude. Oh, and we're using... Tell me that. We're using the old Sam Adams. Oh, Sammy. So what are we doing? Welcome to Summer Video Cook Show. Y'all. We're going to do <laughs> grilled cheese hot dogs. It's a TikTok viral kind of thing, but we're doing them totally different than anybody. Yeah. Yes. Stand by and watch. <laughs> once Gloriousness. We get, once we get moved back around. We're seeing yeah. a second. All right, we got switched around. I'm in my normal position. Damn, thing is supposed to be pre-lubricated. <laughs> we got some cheap-ass hot dogs that are still four dollars a pack. I know, dude. It is. The price of things are so horrible right Lord. now. Lord, I spent a hundred dollars on groceries, which normally okay. would last me about two months. It'll last me three weeks. Maybe. So you got to watch them sales, y'all. And I'm not a big Win Dixie fan, but I'm gonna give Win Dixie a shout out because this was. I want to say this was three sixty-eight yeah. mm -hmm. for sixteen ounces of hot dog. Yeah, I, I always know, forget about Win Dixie because it's floor sweepings. It's down and full. Well, it all depends on which kind you get. Sunday, I did a brisket that I bought at Win Dixie which for three ninety-nine a pound, which was really really good. Is, it, is there any of that left? There is some vacuum sealed. I will give you some to take home. We're gonna score these hot dogs. I'll give them a what a eight, Jamie. What do you think? What? I said we was gonna score them. Bar S, I give them, uh, I mean, for price, I give them uh, eight or a nine. For taste and flavor, I'm going to say five. Yeah, but you put them over that charcoal and everything's good. Or... Yeah, I mean, if you get them a good dark, dark, dark char, so yes. like, you know, at the end of the cigar, if it gets like, it looks like that. Everybody then, uh, else does these on a flat top or in a skillet. Why are you scoring them? I don't know, because that's what everybody else is doing. Oh, because, I, oh, okay. We're jumping on the bandwagon, might as well jump on with the same song, right? I don't get the whole scoring thing, but okay. Make some pretty. I don't know. Okay. Why you ask me questions I ain't got the answers to? I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. How many times are you going to score them? Until I'm done. Okay. Now, I'm going to put on this hot glove. Yeah, that lid's probably a little warm. That lid is a little warm. And we're going to unliticize Sammy here. Y'all, I'm cooking direct heat, which I rarely do. I always for, cook. Well, except for chicken. If I'm cooking like this, I'm gonna cook direct. I cook steaks direct. I cook burgers direct. I cook everything direct. We're gonna put these hot dogs on. We'll bring you back when we flip size them. And we're gonna get a good char on them hot dogs. So if you ain't never had a charcoal hot dog with some char on it, they smell. Oh. They smell really good. Oh, it's just good stuff. We'll be back. Yeah, once when we, we get back, throw those around on the grill a little bit. Yeah, and this is a grill that he won't give me because I'm the one that introduced him to this. You'll get stuff. it in my will. I'm probably gonna die before you are. So. Well, then you won't get it in my will. <laughs> but you're still gonna bitch about it for another 37 it's years. Something like that. Yep. Every time I see it, see you on a second. What the hell, man? Every time I get up, you steal my seat. This chair is more comfortable than the one I was sitting in. Check the damn hot dogs at least. I can do that. Yep. Let's see. They get in there. We need to roll them in just a little bit. Yeah, we want a good char on those. Yep. We're making a, a charcoal Samuel Adams Weber 
redneck hot dog concoction. You know what we might have to do? We might have to do something to get the flame to, to kick up for the flame, because usually you need some drippings to drip down on the charcoal to get it to. Them hot dogs ain't got no drippings. They're made out of sawdust and chicken liver. The, the, uh, the Oscar Mayer ones, they drip a little bit. I don't know why. It's... One day we're going to make our own damn hot dogs. We do need We're going to call them somewhat mediocre dogs. Yes. Um, I'm copyrighting that right now. Somewhat mediocre dogs because it's on video right now that I just said it. So, uh, yeah. We shall return. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, you know, we got to finish it up. This is a weird episode. Or not. <laughs> I just drink beer and eat hot dogs. Hey, we can do that. You never know. Well, you got to have a beer with a dog. The best, one of the best hot dogs I ever had was in Chicago. I went to the Wrigley Field. And I got a dog and a beer, and it was just a plain dog. I put mustard on it, and I got a beer, and it was like 10 bucks for both of them. And it was, oh, they were so good. You know why I'm rocking the camera like that? To aggravate me? Because I can. Uh, but that'll make people sick. Don't do that. Anyway. It'll make them sick if I go, uh, like that. Anyway, we return. Yeah. When will we return, you know, you know who's really not going to like this episode? Who? Kyle. <laughs> we love Kyle. <laughs> Would you like to see my wings? <laughs> sure I would. <laughs> Let's see what they look like. It's a little crooked. Those are some good looking hot dogs, y'all. Hot dogs, wieners, franks, conies, glizzies, whatever what? the hell you want to call them. Glizzy. Who, I was going to say, who, who the hell calls them a glizzy? Kids. 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 Y'all, that's the way a hot dog's supposed to be done. Well, I don't know about all the scoring. I, I, I'm not a fan of the scoring myself. But you fell in line with everything else. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm trying to follow that. We had this Bayou Classic casserole dish. We're gonna slide it right here over the coals and let it get a little bit warm while we assemble these things. Uh, I'll put you right there in the center while you're assembling things. Assembling? Well, maybe not. Nope, I can't. It's not gonna sit low enough. High enough. Well. It wasn't level, damn it. Well poop. Y'all, I'm going to assemble three of them on camera. Because there's three of us here. We'll I assemble the rest of them. No, we're only going to eat one on camera. I can eat like eight. I can eat all eight of them. Without the bread. I had four today for lunch. So you're saying you like wieners, huh? I like hot dogs, I do. But I did mine in the iron skillet today. But they still ground up. And, and Wait a minute, you're from Alabama. You did them in an iron skillet. Iron skillet. What did I say? Iron, iron skillet? Iron. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an iron skillet. Yeah, it, it's it's spelled iron. It's kind of ironic. I've noticed that since y'all sprayed that stuff, the flies are like non-existent. Now. Exactly. So. Plus, every night I come out here and practice my karate moves in my pajamas. Your karate? Yes. So, all right. Step one: open the buns. Open the buns. Step we got two. some Kobe Jack cheese here. We're gonna put a layer of cheese down in the bottom of the bun. Not too much, not too little. We want these son of a gun cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Isn't that in a song? Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy is that a song? Much, it's a song that's stuck in my head. Oh yeah. yeah. What song? Just enough to make me grin. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, that's the yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes. That's a song we may or may not need to learn. Yeah. Next step will be inserting the wieners in the buns. Yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this barehanded because I got them stainless steel hands. It's fine. They're all good. Everything's going back in the skillet anyway. So. Yes, it is. Look at the char. If y'all don't understand a charred hot dog, I mean. Some people don't like it. But I'm sorry. Hot dog I'm meat. sorry. It's like that. That's how it goes. Breeze this is this Kinder's Buttery stuff. Steakhouse. I'm just gonna do a light that stuff is salty. dusting of it. Salty, salty, salty. We just wanna add little. just a, a little That's flavor. Good. Just yeah. a little flavor. Have you tried it? It's good. <laughs> it's salty. It yeah. It's good on tater. That's what I did those uh potatoes in. Throwed rolls taters the other night. <laughs> you can hear me in the background. <laughs> the the slice of dictators. Yeah, if y'all wondering what we're watching, we're watching a us. playlist of us. Why? Because we're arrogant assholes. No, it's just better background music to have the music. Better background noise, but just have us in the background. Exactly. 
That's another reason we're only doing three on camera because I don't think I shredded enough cheese. I don't think you did either because I'm fixing to get. Me a we handful. want them bitches to be cheesy. We want half off. We, know you we got some sack cheese in the house. <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> Not a damn word. I was giggling about sack cheese, but <laughs> not a word. Not a word. You kind of, kind of mush them together, mush them together, and we get all these little crumbles of cheese up, put them in there. Now we're gonna lift this lid again. That skillet is warm. Yep, that skillet's warm. How'd it go? Yep. One more time. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, it's okay. It's okay. You need some lubrication of some sort. I was gonna do something, but I knew better. Butter. <laughs> you know what I was thinking too, don't you? Butter. Butter is good for everything that ails you. Yes, it is. Like bacon. Yeah. Have you ever cooked bacon in butter? No, but. Maybe we shall. That's how I grease my pan when I go to cook bacon. I put butter in it first. I don't grease my pan. I don't need to, but I put butter in it and then I fry my bacon. Because you can? And bacon. While he's doing that, y'all. Oh, I'm, I'm, fixing to, I'm fixing to put the meat on the heat, baby. Okay. All right, you take one of these here hot dogs. Let's see if you can do this without it coming apart. Kind of, kind of close it together a little bit. I'm gonna get down here. And you go flip. Nice. You say squeeze it together flip. a little bit? Yep. Squeeze is the past tense of squeeze. Ah, I hear you. A lot of people think that it's squeezed. Squeeze. But it's actually squeeze. And we're gonna let them ride until that cheese gets all crispity and crusty and dark and crunchy and makes like a cheese skirt type deal. Sorry for a crappy camera work, I'll try and get cheese. Or uh Afrika, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we will be back when we're pulling our wieners off of the pan. Exactly. Yeah, see y'all think. You wanna see me flip my wiener? Yeah. All right, I done scrape aside this one a little bit, y'all. Look at that glorious shit right there. Well, I don't know, gonna be good after all the butter around too. I know, right? That cheese done. Do that cheese done melted together there. <laughs> I, I don't want to stand up. I'm comfortable in here. Yeah, oh my gosh. And oh my gosh. All right, y'all, we're gonna let those toast. And then we'll be back when we're trying some hot dog grilled cheeses. I'm just doing that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. They're slow flyby. They look so good. I'm gonna let that butter run down a little bit. Yep. Yep. We'll be back when we're pulling those off. One. Uh huh. Two. Uh huh. Three. There you go. Let's take the wieners off the heat. Okay. Oh, they look so glorious. We're gonna take this one, put right there. Right there, right there. We're gonna take this one, put right there. Right there. We're gonna take this one, put right there. Right there, right there. They look really good. Yes. They smell really good. They do. And then I'm gonna put on this hot glove while those are cooling. And get this here skillet. What's the other one? Out of the way. Nah. Put a little big thing on there. And we're going to let those cool for a few minutes. Yeah, we're going to let those cool and then we're going to slice them and try them. Yes. I'm going to remove this. There's a cutting board under here. We're going to give you that diagonal cross section. But we'll go ahead and do this. What are you doing? It's that cheese skirt. You hear that crispiness? Oh, man. Again. One more time. <laughs> I 
Do all of them one more time. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a second. It's time to cut these. So, you're cutting the cheese? And dogs. <laughs> Good, you get that look at the meltiness underneath it. Oh my gosh. The word. Meltiness. It is now. I just created it. Meltiness. You get that crispity crunchity on the top. You get that melted goodness on the bottom. Keeps the cold side cold and the get that charred hot dog. Alright, this has no condiments on it, no mustard. The only flavoring is the Kinder's. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Too hot? It's still a little warm. <laughs> Sorry, I had to put the camera down. I was about to drop. It's still a little warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Y'all, if you haven't tried that, you freaking have to. I think it'd be really good with whatever dressing you would want to put on it, a pickle, an onion, a oh jalapeno, just whatever. Well, I saw somebody, one channel did them, and he put chili on top of them and jalapenos and mm -mm. diced yeah. onions. I think a little bit of mustard would be good. I think you need to grill some onions, put it under uh -huh. the first set of cheese. Oh, yeah. It's, and that's why it's so good, because you get that, that saucy, mm -hmm. melty cheese underneath there, and then that hard, crusty cheese on the top. It's just like, damn. A little smoking. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. Mm-hmm. Now, I do think... No, I don't see the point in scoring them. No. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. I do think that if you're going to do them, you need to shred your own cheese. Because pre-shredded cheese has stuff in it, stuff in it, <laughs> to keep it from, you know, mushing together and, and getting all mushy and stuff. It's, it's natural stuff like cornstarch or corn flour or something like that. But... There ain't nothing natural in our food anymore. The, the shredding your own cheese, it melts. Mm -hmm. But the trick is to let them melt until you same when we pulled them off, you know, you get that cheese crust on top. Very good. <laughs> anyway, you get that cheese crust on top. Try to talk without using your hands. Just I make, can't. Next I, mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I can't. I can. I can talk without using this hand. <laughs> Y'all make these. That was really good, man. It was just something cheap and simple. It went well, cheap-ish. Yeah, cheap-ish. Would it be good with a? $17 no. Oscar Mayer all beef bun length wiener? Be yeah, would it be good with a Nathan's all beef wiener or Hebrew National? No, not Nathan's, no. I'm not a big fan of I'm it. not a big fan of Nathan's. Not and I wanted to try the Dodger dogs, but we looked at something and those were just expensive. How much well, was it for a pack of those? Like $50. Like, yeah, 45 50 bucks for a yeah. pack of those. Do this. Do this. Put some mustard on it. Put some onions on However it. However you want to dress it up. Whatever you yeah. want on it. We just did it basically so you can see how yes. everybody else is doing it, how we did it. And if it. you want to do it on a charcoal grill to add that chart of the hot dogs, do that. You can do it in an iron skillet. Yeah. Iron, excuse me. Iron. 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 Hey, look over there behind that seat and you get that slug hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cheese chips. It's like... Oh I, I'm going to admit this. Sometimes when I'm at, at, at home alone with my iron skillet, I will just melt cheese into like little cheese chips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I've done that. That's I've done that stuff. quite a few times. So. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. We'll be back. Same uh, fat time. Uh -huh. Same fat channel. Uh -huh. Same fat ass here. Same glorious uh, Piece gentleman. of person behind the camera. Gentleman. Yeah. Same glorious gentleman there. <laughs> or you never know. We might switch up next time. It might be a dog over here wearing a three-piece suit. Hey, it could be. You never know. You never know. Yep. Peace out. Later on. No, we're not just mediocre. Mama. You already told him good evening. We're just coming back. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
don't say that again. Why are you gonna punch me in the head? Cause the camera wasn't on? Yeah! Alright. Are you through fidgeting? You wanna hit off this? I'm gonna lick the spatula. I'm gonna lick the silicon spatula. I'm gonna put these onions back here. <laughs> Back here, so I, I can turn around and go wait, get the wait, onions. Wait. Do that again. How did it go? Wait, <laughs> How did you go? I must sit on the bar still in the woods. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yep. Alright, y'all heard that? Sorry. We forgot to put it here? Well, peckers and snouts. I'm gonna get another shot. <laughs>